What's up, people? Um, this is Question Round Seven here, and we are doing another mod spotlight on the Volt Pack. Today we're doing Mechanism, which is a very awesome mod. It's lots of machines and some magic components and stuff like that. And before I turn around here and show you guys, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Instead of my walls and walls of recipes and then some explanations and testing and stuff, I am going to be doing something new. I'm going to be showing you guys the stuff and showing you guys the recipes kind of at the same time. I'm still going to be explaining it all and stuff, but it's not going to be lots and lots of boring recipes first. And then afterwards, like, just have a few bits of testing. I'm actually going to incorporate that a lot together so you guys kind of get the best of both worlds. So if you guys really like the testing part, then you guys still, you still see how to kind of craft it and see some of the mini components that are involved. But you still see a lot of how stuff works and stuff very early on. So, I'm just going to be turning around here. And before I do, actually, I want to mention that this is the... There's only going to be two more of these videos out of the Volts Pack because there's only two more mods left, really, that I feel like I need to cover. If you guys have any more that you want me to do, I will do them. But I, as I see it, I only have the MF, MFFS mod, the Modular Force Field mod, which is really awesome. That's a big one. And I have the um, Power Suit mod, which is real, looks like really, really cool. I haven't actually gotten into that yet, but it looks awesome. So, if you guys have anything you guys want me to do after that, just leave it, leave a comment saying like what you guys want me to do. I'm pretty much up to anything. I don't really have anything that I really want to do in mind. So just um, comment on that and also just tell me if you like this new setup. So we'll just jump right into it. Alrighty. So we'll get into some World Gym. There's only one ore from World Gym, which is kind of kind of like little ooh, my game just kinda of froze there. Kind of little because of all the different stuff inside this mod. But the world in it is platinum ore. So I guess a lot, of, a lot of the other ores come from basic components and stuff, which reminds me, if you guys have not seen my earlier videos, such as basic components, you guys really need to check that out, because a lot of the recipes and stuff is going to be coming from that mod. Alright, so this mod also implements a lot of new blocks and ores and stuff, or not ores, but ingots, so there are some platinum ingots, which is kind of obvious how <laughs> you make that, you need, and it, then you can create a platinum block from that. There's the bronze ingot, which I will, we will get into making. And you get a bronze block, obsidian ingot, or a refined obsidian ingot. And you get a refined obsidian block. And there's a coal block, too, for all that pe all those people who just have tons and tons of coal. Just make them to coal blocks, which is really, really cool. And they look pretty nice, too, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, morbid or anything. I don't know. There's also a glowstone ingot, which is... I mean, I, it's used for crafting recipes, but it's kind of pointless otherwise. And then there's the steel ingot, which is like the third of its kind in this mod pack, which is kind of ridiculous, but, you know, block looks cool, too. So, moving on to some machines, which is going to be how you create some of this stuff, we have the enrichment chamber. And what this thing is, is pretty much basically a macerator for this mod. You put some ore in here, see, so, you know, I'm getting some for you, get some iron ore, put it into here, and you'll see it start to work. I do have a infinite battery in here, just charging this up. But you, if I take this out, you can kind of see the amount of power it uses really, really quickly. And that'll get your two iron dust. And then you can smelt that into bars, or you can use it in recipes later down the line. And you, again, you can do that with other ores and stuff, too. All of the ores, I do believe, are able to be smelted in here. I chose a few other ones other than iron, like platinum and gold, just to show you that, like, it just can do all the ores. So we'll get, I'll show you how to craft that real quick. You need a block of steel, which can either be crafted the raw craft way or a steel block, which we'll get into how to craft later. It needs control circuits, and control circuits are crafted with some platinum around a enriched alloy. Enriched alloy is being crafted with some redstone around a iron bar. All right, and so that's pretty much all you need to know for that. Again, steel blocks, block of steel, which is kind of obvious, but if you're just a complete noob, there it is. So, I'm going to teach talk about the interface real quick, and most of these blocks have a color-coded interface. You might notice all the different color slots. The orange appears for upgrades, which are actually last in the line, but they upgrade your speed, energy, and just other basic functions. Red is your input slot, green is power, and blue is your out or dark blue is your output slot. Alright, now there also is another one, which we'll get into later, um, like just a few machines down. Alright, now this is the purification chamber, 
what this does is it takes things and puts them into clumps I do believe hopefully I'm not wrong with this one um, I think I actually need some flint if I'm not and I'm in a subset so let's get out of that let's see here this would be really embarrassing if I'm wrong there you are fill it up with flint see I took four flint right there and you put an ore in and it should give you a clump if I am correct which hopefully I am because again that would be very embarrassing um, now most of these things where you put stuff in yeah three copper clumps so most of the stuff where you put stuff in here um, it has a little it only takes one per thing but it actually looks like it took less than one because that doesn't all divide into force but anyway this purple box is your infuse block which basically means it's what it needs to work other than energy it basically just like a you use the flint to make stuff like you just like coat the copper and flint and it comes out as a clump pretty much anyway but this thing for certain ores is like a macerator but it puts out three because these copper clumps if you see if you put them in a crusher which you'll see you get dirty copper dust and then that you can put in an enrichment chamber which is this thing and it will give you copper dust so with a lot a little bit more energy and time you can get three ingots out of your copper tin platinum and not gold I don't think I'll show you those are the only three right there is copper tin and platinum that actually give you three otherwise they just give you one which I'll show you in a second here so you're kinda getting cheated if you do this because gold clumps aren't used for anything except for making dirty gold dust which nobody wants so don't use other ores in this purification chamber if you're not gonna like and expect to get more stuff out of it because it would have been more efficient for me time energy and just ore wise to put it in this thing first because I already gotten two instead of one Does that make sense okay now the platinum compressor I do believe yeah what it does is it takes platinum in your infuse slot and it takes these dusts and makes them not, not there you'll notice you know whenever your infuse slot works because it'll fill up that bar like that alright so if it doesn't fill up that bar then you're doing something wrong um, so this du this um, glowstone dust is going to get compressed into a glowstone ingot and so this thing is really only used well I do believe it actually hold on let's get some more of this and let's get some iron dust I do want to test this. I already had some iron as well. Okay. Yeah, it only works with obsidian dust and glowstone dust, which is used to create your obsidian and glowstone ingots, which are used to create your blocks and other machines further down the line. And you can see most of these have some fairly neat texture effects, and it actually looks like the mod author is in the middle of updating some of his textures because some of them are just this blue texture and some of them are fairly cool animated textures but anyway you can see we got an obsidian ingot there alright again my game froze I don't know what's with that my firmware dropped crazy we got a combiner and what this does is it takes eight dust and one cobblestone as your infuse right ooh okay my finger I don't know what that is and then you put it in there and you'll see What's it gonna make, guys? What's it gonna make? Well, I, I'll tell you. Because, well, I know. It makes iron ore. Well, because so eight of any dust plus a piece of cobblestone will make your ore, which is very inefficient. Oh, God, my game is just. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, my. That's not what I was gonna say. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's very inefficient because eight dust to make one ore, which the only way, only thing you can do with ore, is to make it into more dust or more ingots. So I I don't know really where that's supposed to come in as a, like a really good thing, but I don't know. It just seems a little bit wonky to me. All right, next we got the crusher, which is going to be used to crush your ingots back into dust. I'm pretty sure. And it also is going to be used to make biofuel out of natural substances. 
But yeah, that'll probably that'll turn this platinum and get into dust. We can grab a carrot next. And I'll show you how it makes biofuel. Alright, yeah, so platinum dust. It's basically if you or you're like, ah, oh, I need some one piece of dust for one of these recipes I'm making, you can just put it in here and it will make you a dust out of your thing. And then so for every natural ingredient you get two biofuel, which can be later later used in the line to make energy. Alright, now these are pretty cool. These are really advanced furnaces. So the basic smelting factory is has three input slots. So it's basically a triple furnace put into one block. And I'm really sorry guys, I haven't been showing you guys how to craft these. Um, basic furnace f melting factory is four um, control circuits or basic circuits, some gold dust, and some and two enriched alloys and a block of steel. Alright, and then you can place some platinum ore in there, and you can place some gold in there, and at the same time, and you, you kind of get the idea they'd all be going at the same time and all that stuff. So there you go. So it's basically a triple furnace. And then the next one is your advanced smelting factory, which is five <laughs> furnaces into one, which is wow. Like, your mind's not blown right there. Like, I don't, you must not be playing Minecraft too much. That is really good. And so you need four control circuits or basic circuits two diamond dust so it's fairly expensive again diamond dust can be made by putting diamond in the crusher and let's see and the basic smelting factory all right and that gives you this five input thing here and the next one even crazier than that is the elite smelting factory with seven input slots like I don't even know if I could use all those at once like wow like so if you just came back from a big mining trip you're just like just put all this stuff in here and just do all that stuff for you, fine and dandy. Save you some time. I don't know about energy, actually. Probably from the way I gather these things work. Um, it might save you some energy as well. And I, I couldn't even find six, seven ores, seven different ores for this game to put in. So, I mean, it's just like, wow. Anyway, crafted like so with some atomic cores. Control circuit, basic circuit, and rich alloys. Atomic cores are crafted like so with some obsidian dust, platinum dust, and a diamond. So again, fairly expensive, but I don't that might be that probably be really worth it. Alright, next we have the metallurgic infuser. This bad boy can use infuse and other things to create ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I'll just show you. So you need carb compressed carbon for one of these recipes. This is how you make steel, by the way, which you just hit coal into a furnace. Get compressed carbon, and you also need enriched iron. Enriched iron is crafted with some either enriched alloys over iron, when you get six, or just um, copper dust over iron, and, or tin dust over iron, and you get, get four for those two recipes. Alright, so we'll just place, and this one's pretty cool, I'll just show you real quick. If I place lots of these in here, I don't know if you guys see that gray line right there. Um, but if I was like, oh, I don't want to make that recipe anymore and I can't use carbon to make it, I just put dump and it deletes those items, so keep that in mind, it doesn't give me back. But it will clear out that thing for further recipes. So if I just put one in there, and then I put one of these enriched irons in there, it'll, it'll make something, which is steel. And so that's how you make steel in this game, in this mod, but I'm pretty sure the steel is all universal, so you can just use steel, other steel components. That is a lot easier to make. You actually get steel dust. So sorry about that. You can also use tin and copper in your metallurgic infuser. If my game won't stop like freezing up. Oh, oh, see, this is an example. My carbon thing. I have. I already still got stuff in there, so I could dump that, and then this tin automatically goes in there, which is pretty cool. And then this thing will get turned into bronze. All right. So it actually looks like not all of this tin is not being used, so it's more than a one for one. It's like a one for like two or three. So next is a really, really cool one. This is where your magic based stuff comes in. Oof. I don't know what that is, but it is hurting. All right, you get your theoretical elementizer. It is crafted like so with some rich alloys around a block of diamond. 
And I am sorry, I keep on forgetting to show the recipes. I'm just, I'm new to this. Leave me alone. Metal infuser with some furnaces, control circuits, rich aloe, and some iron. Just like so. Alright. Theoretical elementizer, this one takes a while. But, I will take a diamond and an enriched alloy. Put the enriched alloy at the top. Diamond in the infuse slot. And you might also notice that this isn't color coded. I think that's something the author is working on right now. Maybe he's in the middle of color coding all of his blocks and he just hasn't done this one yet. But, just this, this little symbol right here typically means uh, upgrade. This one means power. And anything below this little bar right here is typically going to mean your infuse, and then the, above that bar is going to be your um, input, and then over here, obviously, your output. So you can see we're at 62% now, going on 70. And our diamond is still getting exhausted. But once we reach 100, we will get. I think we have a chance to get it. I'm not sure if we get it every single time. We'll see. But you get one of the two magic items. Now on the wiki it says there's two. Yeah, see we got one of them right here. Um, the wiki says there's three, but I there's only two in the game. It looks like. We, so we got the weather orb. Um, so the weather orb and the Steve stopwatch are two of the magic items in this game, and this is the only way to get magic items. But for what they do, they're really inexpensive. I think they don't require any energy. They just require time. So Steve stopwatch, open this up. I can turn it to any time I want. And let's actually get rid of my, get rid of all that stuff. So I could go, I want it to be midnight, and boom, it's midnight. Monsters will spawn, I can farm some monsters if I want to. If I was like, I want it to be noon again, it'd be like that. And any of this stuff, and then you can click the credits to see. We are outdated, of course, because this is, um, volts. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's the stopwatch, the weather orb, as you might expect, you can get all sorts of stuff. I don't know what haze is supposed to do, but I'm sure it's awesome. You can get storm, which doesn't seem to be working really either, and rain, which also does not seem to be working. Let's just, just clear it up. Ooh, kind of paused it there for a second. Alrighty, we'll just put this in here. And I will get my presets back on. There we are. Alright, next is the electrolic elect elect yeah, electrolic separator, which is it's actually a pretty cool concept actually. What this thing does is I'll show you to craft it real quick. Some iron, um some rich alloy, some redstone, and this electrolyte core with some gold, iron, platinum and enrich alloys. Alright, what you do is you take water from here. You can also pump water into this with fluid mechanics. Put water in here. It takes a lot of water. But as you can see, this thing, what this thing is going to do is going to take water, H2O, and it's going to separate it into two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Now right now this thing is going to dump oxygen because oxygen is completely useless. Completely. I can set to dump hydrogen, which you see all the hydrogen just got destroyed, or I can set to dump nothing, so I actually get stores of each. And I don't know what this output thing does, but we'll just leave it at default, which is oxygen. And if you get water, I have not yet tried this, but I doubt this will work if you gain the source block, because I can get stacks of those. Ooh. Yeah, that's not going to work. Alrighty, but click on that chest, please. Um, if we keep on doing this, like just get like a bunch of waters, you can see we're starting to build up a little bit of oxygen and hydrogen, and it's gonna store this this in this little bar right here, and that's slowly gonna deplete storing this stuff up. All right, so you can see we're getting both now that I've switched this dump off. And so that's roughly two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. So we can get ourselves a storage tank if we want to, which are crafted like so with some iron around an iron dust. And we can store that in there and it's going to store our hydrogen for us. 
All right, now hydrogen is very useful for energy, and I actually think I can make an infinite energy source out of hydrogen. All right, so we're going to put the storage tank in here, and we can put it in this add slot or subtract slot. You subtract it from the tank. And so now we've got 600 out of 96,000 gas in here. All right, that's really not that much, and we can put it back into the tank like so. And so we can just kind of switch it around. I think it only stores one type of gas, so you keep that in mind. And so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. It also needs power to run. Keep that in mind as well. You can't just like infinite loop without power. So that's that's a pretty cool concept in my opinion. Now this is really awesome. This is kind of some more magic stuff. My game doesn't start freezing like that. Um, the teleporter, crafted with some refined obsidian blocks. A teleporter core, which we'll get to in a second, and some basic circuits or control circuits. Teleporter cores, some of those atomic cores, some lapis, some gold, and a diamond in the middle. So fairly expensive, but fairly awesome. Just shift click to open this up. I've got it set to frequency 1000. You need power too. And I've got that one set up to frequency 1000 over there. Now I'm pretty sure you can guess what, what happens. You get teleported away. Everything is just fine and dandy. So, um, you have to build it like this, with the four up, three across. If you do not build it like that, then it will not work. Again, you can shift click, open it up. No link found for this one because I haven't linked it up yet. Pretty sure you cannot link it to three teleporters. Because then, yeah. Let's see. Link's greater than two, so. We'll just switch that back to off. Alrighty. So solar generator, this is getting the power generation for this mod. Obviously the solar generator is the solar panel of the mod. And it's crafted like so with some solar panels, enriched alloys, iron ingot, platinum dust, and an en energy tablet which we'll get to later. Solar panels crafted with some glass panes, redstone, enriched alloys, and some platinum ingots. Alright, that's pretty cool. And so I'm just going to hook this up, see how much power it generates in a certain amount of time. So it's hooked up. It should be getting sunlight, and you can see the power rising. In that moment, we just hooked it up. We got 50 kegajoules of power, which is pretty good, actually. Um, I think maybe not. <laughs> this one over here, however, does nine times that much. So, yeah, get prepared. Alrighty, this advanced solar generator, again, nine times as much. Nine like kegajoules per tick, I think, is what it was. I don't know. Um, just try to craft it. You need four solar generators. So it's actually more efficient as well. Instead of so using nine solar generators, you just need four. Some enriched alloys and an iron ingot. And so we'll just hook this puppy up. Red is the output on this one. Black is the output on that one. So keep that in mind. You can actually, you can see where the output is because that's the place that will connect to it. So I can see this thing won't connect over here, but it will over here. Anyway, in that time I've started talking, we've already got 178 kegajoules of power, which is pretty good, actually. Pretty, pretty good. Alright, my game doesn't start freezing like that. Um, this one, I think I, yeah, I forgot like, one of the biggest steps in this thing. This is the heat generator. I'll show you how to craft that in a second. Get some lava. That's right. You need This thing can... I'm, you can put buckets of lava in it, but the way more efficient way to do it so it's constantly running. It'll never run out of power. Put lava underneath it, and you can see it's slowly generating power. All right, now it looks like that number is going up really, really, really fast, and you're like, "Whoa, that's such a cool generator!" Watch this. Pump this power into this puppy right here, and yeah, it's not doing so hot. <laughs> Remember this one over here got a hundred and like twenty something, and this one's still at five. So. These are very, very slow generators, but they are infinite generators, so keep that in mind. And I'll show you to craft it real quick. Some platinum, enriched iron, iron, enriched alloys, iron ingots, and some redstone, which is pretty cool. Um, I think on the wiki it, it recommends to set up large rows of these and put lava underneath them, but there is a risk of fire spreading out randomly from the heat generator, so keep that in mind. Luckily it didn't happen while I was recording this video or else that block would probably be on fire by now. 
so moving on to the bio generator, I told you guys about biofuel earlier. Um, see, it needs biofuel to run, and bio generator is crafted like so with some redstone, biofuel, steel block, enriched alloys, and some iron ingots. Just take this biofuel out of here, actually. Now watch how quickly this biofuel goes down. You'll be like, whoa. All right, biofuel in there, and you're like, oh my gosh, holy cow. And but it's actually all being stored in here, and it's being slowly depleted and turned the energy over here. Now, if we place this power connector right here, we can see that we're already up to about 30, and I bet this one's not even up to 30 yet. Nope, still at 21. So you can definitely see the how slow that one is and how how much faster this one is. Um, but this is pretty cool. It's kind of the eco-friendly version. We still have a lot of biofuel left in there from that, that from that stack. So that's pretty cool. All right, now this is my favorite. Oh my goodness, this might even bear better than the atomic science ones. Did I really just say that? No, I didn't. Gosh, just don't remember that one. Uh, anyway, this is the hydrogen generator. My game doesn't start freezing like that. Um, take this. Press R, and we got a hydrogen generator with some two steel blocks and electrolytic core, whatever. Some rich alloys, some platinum around the corners. And luckily, I brought my container of hydrogen with me, because I forgot to put one in that chest right there. So we'll put this in here. That should not. That wouldn't. That's not gonna last at all. But and I forgot to hook this up. Oh, oh, oh! Wow. Okay. Jokes on me. Um, this is a high voltage line. It looks like so I can't hook this up to it. But it did lose. Almost all of it. Yeah, it lost all of its power. So let's let's see if we can get a hydrogen tank real quick. See how quickly that thing. Storage tank. Nope. Storage tank. Oh yeah, storage hydrogen. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna release this, and you can see how fast that energy is building up. So, but how long it took to fill up that one hydrogen tank too? All that tedious water filling and stuff. Alrighty, so we got about. Maybe about a third of power bar with one tank, which is pretty cool. Anyway, moving on to the energy tablet, which is kind of like your battery. It's exactly your battery in this mod. Um, well, 250 kegajoules of power, which is not much at all. And it is crafted, if the crafting recipe will show up, there we are, with some gold, redstone, and some enriched alloys. Again with the FPS drop. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't know, it could be steam, something like that. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'll be back, see if I can fix that problem. Alrighty guys, I am back. Sorry about that, I fixed I just kind of closed out, closed steam and all that stuff. So, whatever did it, fi fixed. Fixed now. I already showed you how to crap that, wow. Okay. Moving on to your battery boxes. Alright, there's the basic one, advanced and elite. I kind of just stacked them all together because I didn't feel like making individual rows for them. Um, the basic one stores, stores 5 megajoules of power. Advanced one stores 10 megajoules of power. And the elite one stores 50 megajoules of power. Now just put that in perspective if you guys are used to the other um, volts mods. The basic battery box, like like the one in on universal electricity, stores 4 megajoules of power. So this, this basic one is better than that one. Just throwing it out there. All right, so basic first, uh, basic one is crafted with two batteries or energy tablets or whatever, a steel block, lapis lazuli or lazuli, lazuli. Anyway, enriched alloys in the corners, and you get yourself a basic storage upgrade. Advanced box is wait what? Okay, it's down here. Two energy tablets, some gold at the top, and some. Enriched alloys in the, on the corners and the basic energy cube in the middle. And then elite is diamonds at the top and your advanced energy cube in the middle. Cool. Alrighty. So those are, again, like super hyped up battery boxes. And now you've got the tools and the armor and all that stuff. I just put the ores that you can make it out of because it makes it out of so much stuff. If I type in, um, like pickaxe or something like that. You can see all these pickaxes 
Um, you got well, you got the normal ones. So you got then you got steel, bronze, platinum, lapis lazuli, pickaxe, um, obsidian, a glowstone, and steel. Obsidian, by the way, I looked that up. Oh my goodness, diamonds durability. I'm just ballparking here. Maybe like one thousand five hundred durability. All right, obsidian is like two thousand five hundred durability. All right, like that is crazy. Is my FPS really dropping again? I don't even know what that is. Gosh, ah. Uh. I can make it through the video. All right. So that is just amazing, and the uh, not mining speed. What is it? There's durability, and then there's something else. Anyway, obsidian is just way higher in like everything. Like it just like knocks everything else out of the ballpark. It's just wow. Anyway, those are the six ores and ink or ingots you can make new armor and tools out of. And then there's a really special tool called the Paxel, which is like your super tool. It's a combination of a shovel, pickaxe, and axe. And I'll show you to make the stone one, which stone axe, no pickaxe, and shovel and two sticks. Same thing for every single one of those, just different ingots or ores or materials. Alright, now this one, this one's cool. In my Volt Initiation video, I was like, what is this? Does it have like a super arrow or anything? But no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Alright, if I shift right click, it turns it on and off. It toggles it on and off. Why you need to toggle, I don't know. But once it's on, all you have to do is just fire it like a normal bow. It stores power and goes to quite a distance. I'll just kind of ballpark it here. Look at that. I don't know if that's a normal bow range or what, but it's fairly accurate. Yeah, so that one went over right there. Normally a bow. And that one hit the same block, so very accurate bow. Let's see if we can hit it with me. No. Wow. If I shoot it straight up, will it come back down on me? That would be funny. Oh, yes it did, that's cool. Anyway, I've never done that before. It's okay, sorry. Um, Obsidian TNT, this stuff is amazing. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> This stuff is so, like, the explosion radius in this thing is just huge. But before we do that, oh, let's not do that. Um, electric bow, crafted with some string, which is always in a battery. Alright, obsidian TNT, we're gonna go way far away. I forgot my resident torch, like a noob. Ooh, I keep on placing it, that's probably not a good idea. It's a fire hazard and a safety hazard and every kind of other hazard there probably is. Because this stuff is just ginormous explosion. I think on the wiki it said like five to six times more explosive. It's really cool. You can get a little fountain lava effect. Yeah. I I'm just going to explode a normal TNT. Just so you guys can see the difference. Alright? And it's crafted just like... It's crafted with like three TNT in the middle. So it's really just like three TNT just like compressed together with some obsidian. Ooh, it's gonna be like look. Just take a look at these explosion sizes. Like wow. Which would you rather use? That's a lot bigger than three TNT. So I'll just show you guys the recipe right now. See just some obsidian, sandwiching some TNT. Pretty nifty. Alright, this next thing I'm not so sure about. I mean, I guess it's okay it's cool, but it's kind of overpowered in my opinion. I mean I know it takes power and all that stuff, but it really is. The Atomic Disassembler. It looks like a tennis racket. I always thought it was a tennis racket. I was like, when do we need to play tennis? And then I was like, oh, it's just a mining tool. It doesn't look like a mining tool. I wouldn't hit a rock with that. Because it would probably just bounce back and hit you in the face. But I guess it works fine. So, you just need four enriched alloys, atomic core, an obsidian ingot, and energy tablet. You get yourself an Atomic Disassembler. Now, I'm going to go... Out of creator mode, you can see that it's it's a fully charged one. Just to show you guys how much energy it takes, because I found this really odd. Now I'm not in creative mode right now, guys. You saw me change back. Now it just started using energy. Like I can just like go everywhere. Like what? I mean that just seems a little bit overpowered to me. You know, just maybe a little bit. Not not too much. Just a little bit overpowered. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oof, that was a close one. I almost just ruined our next experiment. 
All right, but see, look at all that destruction, all this stuff, and look at the energy bar that was drained. I mean, I don't know how much power it holds. Maybe it's like got like a ton of power in it. Uh, 94 kilojoules, so not even one megajoule, I don't think, was in this because there's 100 kilojoules in a megajoule. So 100 kilojoules really isn't that much. That solar generator generated more than that in like 10 seconds. So. Overpowered, yes. I don't. I don't know what I think about that. Um, I should have craft. It's not that expensive, aside from this thing, which is a diamond. One diamond. So I don't know. Maybe that's just a little bit OP. Now the speed upgrade. I told you guys there are upgrades for your stuff. Let's just get in creative mode again. This is the speed one. Obviously increases the speed of your machines. We get some platinum dust in the corners, an emerald in the middle, which is kind of expensive, and four enriched alloy. I've never actually found an emerald before, which is kind of disappointing. But yeah. But another thing this thing does is kind of more like an energy efficient upgrade. Because the way these machines work is they designate a certain amount of energy for a certain time period. It's not like how intensive the machine is or anything like that, or like what the machine is doing. So if you're making stuff faster, you use less energy. So that, that's pretty cool. It's not like per one cycle you use a set amount of energy. It's like per certain time period you use a certain amount of energy. So that's pretty cool. Kind of an energy efficient plus speed item. And then you got the energy upgrade, which is crafted like so. With um, an energy tap in the middle, some enriched alloys in the sides, and some redstone. And all this stuff, all this thing is, it is increases the energy storage of the machine. So like the battery capacity and stuff like that. Alright, now the ultimate upgrade is just a com combination of those two with some energy and some speed, diamond in the middle, and some redstone energy alloys on the sides and corners or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, the upgrades are fairly fancy, I guess. Not really. The best thing so far is probably either a teleporter. I had a lot of fun with the teleporter, just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because it's really fun. Like, you know, and I don't know. I found that slightly amusing. And some of the magic stuff is okay, but overall, it's a very, a very working mod. Like, it's a lot of stuff that al allows you to do, like the macerator and the combining stuff and all sorts of fun stuff. It just, it allows it to happen. It gives you some eco power, some infinite power. Oh, well, this is what I was talking about, guys. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, yay, fire. That's probably bad. Let's put that out. Anyway, so... I, I like the mod. It's not my favorite mod. But it still has some really neat stuff to offer. So guys, this has been Mechanism with Coins of Minecraft. Don't remember. Don't remember. <laughs> remember to subscribe, comment, like, favorite, all that fun stuff. Um, see you guys.